Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for 2020. But before we get into it, if you have not yet watched my video on 2020, please go. I'll link it here. Just go and watch it. That serves as the basis of these card readings, okay? The other thing I want to talk about is how to listen to this message. If you are looking for shallow messages, just fortune tell for me, ain't happening. And guess what? That stuff is going to come to a screeching halt in the coming years. So be very careful about that. This is your time to find yourself, to find your center, to be in touch with your higher consciousness. And from that space, that's how you should be listening to these videos. Okay. So yes, I am still using divination tools. I've been explaining to all the signs. I like the artwork. I like the word. The word has a frequency. There's your first one flopped right out. <laughs> um, and the audience still connects with it. So it's still acting as a bridge as opposed to someone just sitting here channeling a message, which you know we could do, but I would do that for the collective. I wouldn't do that for each one of these. It would just be too much to hop in and out. Maybe there are people that are better than me. I don't know, but it would be too much to hop in and out for all of the, uh, all the signs. So your 2020 cancers. Let me just tune in here and let's see what's going on. Being afraid to move on. There's something that, oh wow, there's something that presents itself. <laughs> this is interesting. So something presents itself. Again, these aren't meant to be predictive. And it's an opportunity for you to see yourself in a completely different way. And yet some of those old conditioned fears are still hanging out and so that comes in and you're like I can't take this opportunity um, and again it's an opportunity for growth wow okay so I'm going to I'm going to show you these cards here in a second but part of so the first card we had out I'll just put them in order here so we had purgatory and then we had the prophet okay so this is the opportunity that's trying to come through there's some bit of message that's trying to help you out and you have to make a decision, which you will probably be very sad to make because that looks like a tear coming, okay? And then once you do make the decision, one way or another, they're saying you can't be wrong in your decision. The universe will work it out one way or another. This is how you open yourself up for miracles or what we're calling miracles. Um, you know, some of the language that we have, we're gonna realize is pretty dated. Um, Experiencing a miracle and, and seeing it as something, it is special, but 
Um, it's, it's something that's always capable, we're always capable of experiencing. So our viewpoint on miracles, I mean, that is the equivalent of going back to like the caveman era with a big lighter and then being amazed that you made fire with your hand. Okay, like, oh my gosh. That's how we're gonna start seeing miracles, I think. Like, oh, they've always been there. Um, you know, it's not like, oh, miracles are no big deal. Okay, that's the ego going all like nutty, all right? Like that's not what's being said here. The miracle is knowing like I have control over my vibration. I, not control, but you know, I, I can be in touch with that vibration. I can work with my vibration and I can make things happen. We're going to be discovering this more and more as time goes on. Okay, that's what 2020 is setting us up for. But here is where you start your 2020. Oh my goodness. So for you guys, I wasn't really breaking it down by months, but for you guys, I feel like January, boom, it happens right away, <laughs> right out the gate. And it's a hurry up and wait kind of feeling. Now, what, what is fueling that hurry up and wait is the need to accept the message. This is the message that's coming to you. This involves an internal shift. It's you having to come to terms with your own divine nature, right? Which for some reason you haven't wanted to acknowledge because maybe you saw it as, whoops, it's not focusing. Um, why are you not focusing? It's because I keep moving the card. Okay, hold on, <laughs> let me do that. There we go, it wasn't focused there for a moment. All right, so when you start to understand the messages that are coming through and you understand that this has to be an internal shift, that this has to be something that you do for yourself, that you have to do this for yourself so that you can be a part of the collective. There's going to be a lot more of that understanding. It's not putting pressure on yourself. It's not sitting and going, I'm going to figure out what the message is and all that stuff. It, that's not how this is working. It's calm, it's peaceful. It, it's a quiet epiphany. But if you resist it, you might feel stuck. You might be kind of in that place of in between. For some of you, this is not a bad thing. This is sort of like, well, I'm not gonna make any more sudden moves, <laughs> right? I wanna sit here and figure out everything that's going on before I continue, right? So it's not a bad thing, but procrastination, we can't have it, okay? So if you go into 2020 in January feeling a little out of sorts, a little like, oh, I don't know what to do, I have a decision to make, oh my gosh, that decision feels more like it might be I have to let go of this old version of me. And that's sad because maybe you've become so uh, defined by your pain. You've been so defined by your past experiences that when it is time to let go, it's almost like an emotional death. A lot of people I feel will hang on to stuff that happened in their childhood in honoring their inner child right? They don't want to let that go because maybe there's some, you know, subconscious feeling that they're abandoning who they once were. And I will stick with you through thick and thin. I will stick through you with you through the pain. But really what this is teaching us and the miracle is that you can transmute the pain. You can transmute the experiences that happened to you as a child and you can have that child come along with you. You're not leaving the child herself or himself behind you're leaving the pain behind because that is you've already learned the lesson from it it's it's no longer necessary okay that's like having a closet full of clothes that you have not fit into in seven years i'll give you one guess on how i came up with that example literally i pulled pants out that i've had for seven years and they're a size that ha, i'll never see again and that's fine i don't care i don't i don't need to be that size again and I'm like, why am I hanging on to this, right? Like, do I think I'm gonna like do a U-turn and go back to the past? It's not happening, right? But the miracle is being able to transmute. And that is what you are understanding over the course of this year. Make sure you come back and revisit this video. That way you can remind yourself, you can stay on track with this. Remind yourself of the miracle and your capability to experience miracles through your energy, okay? So it's not a whole lot of ceremony unless ceremony is something that you're very comfortable with, like I'm using divination tools still. Maybe you like and you connect with uh, certain ceremonies and rituals and things like that. But this is you having to decide, coming out of the middle and having to decide to accept the message and accept the miracle and say, okay, I'm gonna bring 
all aspects of myself with me except for the stuff that's no longer necessary. And I'm going to do this so that I can be a full light in this universe, so I can contribute. And there's a lot of understanding for a lot of people this year, or starting this year, about our consciousness and how it's not about my light shining brighter than yours, but rather my light joining yours and then joining others and then finding our way back to ourselves, back to God, having that deeper understanding, that's a miracle, okay? So let's get you a color card, see what else we can offer you here. I almost keep dropping the deck. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. Your color card is, aw, pink. The number is four, which we know that that's an angelic number. The angels use all the numbers as um, angel numbers, I guess. But the card says, let love in. This is really important to you, okay? <laughs> like, it's time to let love in. And that means understanding the very nature of love, uh, the love of the universe. And we talk about this all the time. We say love of all kinds. But what that means is, is in every conscious moment, making a decision to choose the love. So if somebody's in front of you and they're having a bad day, um, you can just let them do their thing. I mean, I wouldn't say stand there and take abuse or anything like that, but approach everything with love. If you, you know, you have a project to do and you're dreading it, it might be that you are disconnecting from the love of what you do or the love of your contribution or the love of, you know, what what this will help the team with. You know, you're you're forgetting that, you're disconnecting. And so the intellect comes in and starts running and now you're caught up in drama, now you're caught up in expectations, you know, all of these things always come back to the love. If you are having an argument <laughs> with your love partner, right? Why are we focused on the nitpicky things on the surface, right? Focus on the love. And that might mean you have to learn how each of you expresses love and learning more about one another on a deeper level. If you're single, this is a time where yes, love could come in. <laughs> love could definitely come in, but that's not about that. This isn't what this reading's about. This reading is about crafting and um, using your co-creative abilities in a loving way. All right? So we are going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.